Hey guys, David Agama here, a real estate veteran of 36 years. I'm trying to use this medium as a way to educate the public, to let them know what they should know in helping them maximize the dollars on their old houses and minimize the purchase cost on the buy and how to protect yourself. This is just education basic, but you need to know this. Welcome to your house. Okay, you have it for sale. It's exciting as heck. You got this thing for sale. Anyway, she's smoking, she's hopping. Anyway, through the negotiation process, you get an accepted offer. Your house now becomes conditional, right? Which means it's accepted subject to financing, sale of a home, property inspection, whatever they need to do. Anyway, it's conditional. One thing you might not know, unless your agent divulges it to you, is that that's automatically posted on the real estate webs of the, of the boards. So every realtor will see, unless you stipulate otherwise, that you have a conditional offer. The problem with I have with this is that I'm suggesting to most of my sellers is to not have this divulge and to continue showings. The reason is because buyers have such an easy way out if they don't find something they like and now you've wasted two to three weeks divulging that you've accepted an offer waiting for final and you, you could have brought up a backup offer. So I tell my sellers, it is your decision. My recommendation is to not to divulge that you've accepted an offer, but to continue showings to encourage backup offers. Why? The buyers can change their mind. They might not find some in their property inspection, and you have now wasted two to three weeks of your valuable marketing time because they haven't got their poop in the group. Is that, can you say that on this video? Whatever. Anyway, keep showing, keep marketing, don't divulge, let the realtor show it, encourage backup offers. I encourage my buyers to even on a same situation, even if we don't know that, doesn't matter. If you like the home, make a backup offer, right? Don't be afraid to make a backup offer. Let fate run its course. If you love a house, there is a good chance sometimes that the first offer cannot get completed and you win it. If you don't come in with a second offer in place, what happens usually is the first people extend their condition date, extend their condition date, but when you fall in love with a house, and even has a, if it has a conditional offer, don't be afraid to write on it. Be in a backup position. If you find the house you love, if it's meant to buy, you're gonna win. If it isn't, don't sweat it, but just cues for the, for the education process. When your house is for sale and you get an accepted offer, keep marketing till it's sold final. David Agama, davidagama.com. Check me out, respond, reply, share the video. Good luck on your real estate future.